Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your router with a DSL or PPPoE internet connection. Now in this example we're going to be using the DIR826L, however if you have a different router the setup step should pretty much be the same. Now the first step to setting up your router with any type of internet connection is to log into the router. Now if you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. Now once you've logged into the router configuration page, the first thing you want to do is click on the setup tab at the top and then click on internet on the left hand side. From here you're going to be presented with two different options. You'll see an internet connection setup wizard which will walk you through step by step for configuring your internet connection. And then you also have the manual internet connection options which will allow you to manually configure your internet settings. Now in this example we're going to be using the internet connection setup wizard. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that button. And from there, the internet connection setup wizard will come up. So to start it, we just want to click on the next button. And then the first step it'll ask you to do is to set up a password. Now the password that it wants you to set up here is for your router login. Now, if you've already set up a password, you can leave both those fields the same and just click on the next button to continue. However, if you want to change your router login password, you would just delete all the dots that are here, enter your new password, and then click on next. Now the next step in the setup wizard is to configure the time zone for the router. So from the drop down list, you just want to choose your particular time zone and then click on the next button. Now the next step here in the wizard is to configure your internet connection. From here we have a couple different options. You can manually select the type of internet connection you have whether it be a DHCP connection or dynamic IP connection or a username and password connection or PPPoE. Now a DHCP connection is typically used with cable modems or cable internet providers, whereas a username and password connection or PPPoE is most commonly used for DSL providers. Now if you're not 100% sure which type of internet service you have, we also will give you the option of choosing it from the drop down list. So right above the the selection, you'll see a drop down list where you can then select your internet service provider. Now, unfortunately, due to the amount of so many different internet providers out there, not all of them are in the list. So, if yours is not in the list and you're not sure if your internet connection uses a DHCP connection or a username and password connection, then you'll need to contact your internet service provider to confirm this information. But again, in this example, we're going to be setting up a username and password connection or PPPoE. So I'm just going to put a dot next to that and then click on the next button. Now that we've selected the username and password connection or PPPoE connection, now the next step is to enter in our username and password provided to us by our internet service provider. So in the username field, you want to go ahead and enter in your username and then in the password field, You'll notice that it's full of dots. You want to remove all of these dots and then enter in your password that, again, that was provided by your internet service. If you're not sure what your username and password is, you'll need to contact your internet provider to confirm this information. Now in the service name field, in most cases, this is going to be left blank. However, if your internet service provider did provide you a service name that must be entered into the router, you can enter that here. Otherwise, it's suggested to leave this area blank. Now once you've entered in all your information, go ahead and click on the next button. Alright, and then that's it. Now your internet connection should be set up. From there you just want to click on the connect button. Now depending on the router that you have, you may get a countdown while the router reboots or the screen might just flash or take you back to the home page. Once you're taken back to your home page, your internet connection should be working. You can confirm this by clicking on the status tab at the very top of the dealing page and then underneath the WAN section, you should have an IP address there. You can also confirm this by opening up a new tab or opening up a new web page and your home page should come up. Now if for some reason your internet connection did not work at this time, you may want to go back and check your username and password that you provided. In most cases, it may have been just a typo or the wrong username and password was used.
For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.